Hello and welcome. I'm Garima and joining me today on the dais is Pooja Khanna, manager at Career Services, University of Petroleum and Energy Studies. Thank you so much for joining us today, ma'am. My pleasure. These are tough times and we know how important it is to come together and share information that helps us all. As much as COVID-19 has affected the oil and market uh, businesses, the pandemic has caused a huge impact on the students and professionals in this industry. But again, there are things which are beyond our control and then there are aspects we can work on together. Today, we will be discussing the impact and the ways in which you can navigate your career through this crisis. First of all I would like to thank you again ma'am for taking out time for this interview today. Thank you so much for having me here. And uh, ma'am let's uh, begin with uh, the scenario. If we talk about the student community, uh, what do you think the students are uh, thinking right now and how are they feeling at the moment? Uh yes Garima uh, this time is scary. there is fear and anxiety all around as i am in the middle of students right and we keep on interacting with them and i keep on getting messages uh especially the batch of 2020 uh who were like supposed to join coming july and similarly the batch of 2021 also who uh, who are like they are about to join their internships right they are looking for internships so uh, the entire scenario where everyone is now uh, locked down at their homes right so there there is like a lot uh, a lot of inner chatter happening in right, right. Uh, so uh, they are uh, taking it out also sometimes there are outburst also or then they try to communicate and they are seeking guidance also so which is a good sign which is a good sign that they are connecting Uh, with the faculty with their mentors and they are seeking and uh, the people around are also giving them so much support looking at uh, today's scenario all these digital platforms there's so much support available today uh, mentors coaches they are opening their hearts and their minds to the students and they're coming out see if there there is a negative there there is beautiful things coming out of it also that we see so true. so much of support uh, like today when we are sitting together and discussing both uh, both of ours intent is to support is right. to help right right so similarly there are so many platforms uh, there are so many engagements happening which are very assuring that uh, where i want to tell the students that you may not get your dream job or a job that you hoped for right but there is a job you can get a job so there are uh, there are so many things happening right now and as you mentioned mm. so many positive uh, things are coming out from this whole situation it's amazing to mm. see how people are coming together you know to help each other in whatever ways they can and uh, ma'am you have been an employability coach a career coach for such a long time now just we would love to know about your journey and how do you feel that being a career coach is contributing to this whole uh, covid conundrum as we call it before us uh see uh myself being a career coach uh, was never planned right so uh, my journey itself has its own ups and downs and it's a fitting example uh to today's time i'll say that i ne- uh, my plans uh, were to be a entrepreneur right coming from a business background i i always thought of having my own venture like planning my own venture then but i started as a executive with the business consultancy uh, then uh, being a mother of a young uh, very energetic toddler uh, picking up teaching was a conscious decision i picked a degree in education i joined teaching right and while uh, working in a school youth there i realized my superpower I realized that I might not be good at teaching but I am really good at connecting and I was a good motivator and an encourager 
my students were able to open their hearts to me they were able to connect with me so when i realized i stumbled on this realization i'll say that and i picked up uh, certain courses then i dived deep uh, into this field and uh, i was guided towards trading it it all happened for me mm-hmm. right see once you uh, pick up something and you kept on moving uh, things always like they come up to you and they show then there are people around you they 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 give you such insights and there are times you are not aware of about your uh, powers i will say right and they make you aware of your powers right so same way uh, it was not a chosen path for me but once i was on this path i kept on moving i kept on learning even today uh, learning is like uh, my go to skill i i love uh, picking up new things and i i try to keep it a motto as a motto for me that one new thing every day that's wonderful that's wonderful ma'am so so teaching from from teaching to training from training to employability then in training i found my uh, my area that okay i want to specialize in employability coaching only mm-hmm. and i want to focus there to work with the young leaders so this is how and it's been 7 years that i am with ups today and uh, every semester uh, there is a new play field for me that when i get to play with this new batch of students and i have uh, like total fun with them i i enjoy myself there that's wonderful ma'am because uh, as you said in the larger scheme of things we are all learners and it is uh, if we talk about um, our own experiences and how we as students have opened up to the teachers who actually wanted to listen to us rather than who taught yeah. brilliantly well yes there was a plus point but also communication as you said is a very important thing right it is yes and uh, moving on uh, to our next uh, question if uh, we talk yeah. about the impact of covid-19 how do you think it has uh, affected the overall uh, hiring sentiment see uh, obviously when uh, many businesses are uh, going down economy like we, the recession is expected for next two years right uh, many uh, of the companies they have uh, their freeze hiring right many uh, they have revoked uh the new appointments also because they don't do not want any any position which is not going to be there in the next 3 months right. so in in this scenario what is happening is uh but see whenever there is recession there is some uh, new businesses pop out at the end of recession uh you will find there are there are many sectors which are still uh, hiring and they are booming right. uh, when we are talking about technology edtech health sector is perennial right and then uh, there are many uh, there are new roles that are coming the old roles they may be dying right now it's the time of uh, transformation disruption always brings chaos but there is always a goal right evolution this is accelerator to the evolution i'll say and uh, if i take the words of michael uh, beckwith here that when we embrace challenge in the midst of disruption uh, it is like a grain of sand in the mouth of oyster and a pearl is not behind so uh, history is uh, the proof here that whether it was world war 2 or uh, any any such uh, the great depression mm-hmm. many millionaires were created after the recession right, right. new uh, industries came in new job roles came in women got empowered right after world war II. right so we are looking at uh, such transformations it is the time of transition and only those who are resilient and ha- are agile and uh, they have that adaptability those who are quick to adapt they will find themselves soaring high leading others also so the go to skill here will be agility and adaptability mm. right ma'am uh, also the key point i feel here is uh, that the students should uh, look for opportunities in this crisis 
right as we should not yes we should not stop our job search yes. at all yes. right uh, when the planet is taking a gap year there is no problem taking a gap job maybe we can pick up a project right because with the uh, people working from remotely working remotely now work from home this is going to be a new normal so maybe flexible projects flex, flexible working hours early jobs also will be available right right so we have to think in the new direction we we need to be flexible here in our job search also maybe we have to redo and revamp our resumes and we need to find a side hustle for ourselves and uh, maybe what was our passion and we were keeping it aside because i was trying to become an engineer here so engineer can rework its side hustle and bring it to the mainstream today and find out things which will work better for them actually right right you have uh, partly answered my next question actually and which is uh, i think you'll be able to explain us in more detail that uh, the students uh, the, uh, the students who are especially graduating this year how do you think they should better prepare themselves for uh, for placements as you said it is, it should not be limited to job search how do you think they can manage their job search more effectively uh garima i am used to this kind of fear and anxiety every year when the time of place placement come here so it's not a new thing for uh, students to uh, go through the emotions and feelings of fear and anxiety when they are at this time of the job search right whether covid or not mm-hmm. uh the first thing is uh, that in today's scenario if we uh, delay our uh, Uh, joining the workforce may, by a year or we take a gap year here it's not going to be a problem it's not going to affect your resume one thing that need to be kept in mind let's not be worried about these things first and keep our focus on uh, what are the skills required for the new scenario do i have that in my inventory my, do i have those skills in my repertoire and then uh, youth uh, i think they are the front runners in technology and i see the today's time being driven by technology right people who should be faring uh, is maybe the middle age people like me here that because we need to adapt new skills uh, th- sometimes handling technology is difficult and adapting to these new skills are difficult but today's uh, post millennials they are pro at technology they are so comfortable and i see a uh, student uh, youth around they are helping uh, their uh, family members also to adjust uh, in this scenario also because they are comfortable with technology so the new roles which will be coming up uh, they are for the youth they are not for uh, like these the people who are the baby boomers and uh, generation y and generation x they need to adapt they need to upgrade themselves they need to upskill uh, they need to pick up new things for themselves so and this is the time when we have to uh, reflect that uh, what are the things uh, which are not available in my repertoire right now and this is the time <clears throat> let me start working on them especially for students I, now they use they should be used to the camera mm mm-hmm. of uh, the most of the interviews will be happening uh, on skype or using zoom so being comfortable with the camera and these platforms this is going to be the new skill which they need to master mm-hmm. they need to learn those those uh, team softwares like we have slack we have team by microsoft zoom is there they should be comfortable because remote uh, projects remote working will be using all these uh, platforms so your comfort level with camera your comfort level in handling technology is going to give you a notch uh, up mm-hmm. uh, than than other people so let's find out uh, and look into our inventory reflect that what are the things i have which are going to show my strengths in this time and what are the weaknesses which i need to weaken mm-hmm. further mm-hmm. and and let's work on these things uh, and one thing i which uh, i want to especially discuss here that uh, in coming year and year and a half uh, usually what happens the report says that uh, demand is there 
but the supply of the right skills is not available right right Ma- majority of the reports whether it was mcgency's report whether it was world economic forum's report mm-hmm. they always said that uh, that opportunities are available but the right skill is not available right. but in today's time when uh, two to three uh, generations will be <coughs> fighting together in the job market skills will be available supply of skills are there so what is uh, what is going to uh, create a, a differentiator here will be the soft skills mm-hmm. so the soft skills like your composure to carry yourself when you know that there is anxiety there is fear there is a lot of inner chatter happening inside but your ability to uh, carry yourself calmly to interact with other side without showcasing your stress because then the, the recruiter the interviewer is going to see that very clearly and then they will decide that okay if this person is not able to handle stress how this person is going to uh, handle my jo- job my work so first is composure second is resonance resonance echo how you echo the other side how you meet their demands because it's not about you mm-hmm. it's never about you it's always about the other side it's always about the organization it's always about the job role how beautifully you fit and how beautifully you communicate that i am the right fit that is going to make the difference here so we need to you need to work on that emotional intelligence mm-hmm. understanding the requirements of the other side and giving it to the other side right two ways how you say it and uh, how what you say mm-hmm. these are the two things that will make difference here uh, third thing is your vision if companies are hiring today and they will be hiring after a year and a half that means they were resilient enough because of their vision mm-hmm. their vision was strong enough to carry them out of this uh, storm mm-hmm. i will say mm-hmm. so what kind how you are going to add to their vision that they are up they are a lot uh, they are striving and they are thriving for next 50 years how you are going to add value to your their vision what is your vision mm-hmm. about it practical wisdom right uh this is like how you pick up your strengths how you adapt them how you work with them according to the environment according to the situations uh you are, are you able to analyze the scenario your data analytic skills here your fact finding skills will come into play and how you use them to relate them relate them to the job role and present yourself apt for the job role they are going to help you to stand out and then humility when uh, the basic thing is when there there is a crowd out there there is too much competition you talk about your accomplishments but you brag humbly that that is also a distinguished factor distinguishing factor here so these are the things that uh, soft skills are going to set you apart so let's work on our uh, soft skills now so that they will uh, take you ahead and you will be leading rather than following the herd you have made some uh, very important points here ma'am especially uh, when we talk about networking and personal branding uh, for our career development i think these are the skills and values that set anyone uh, apart how important uh, do you feel is uh, the need to network properly effectively engaging with people effectively and working on your personal brand more than anything else see when we are expecting that the percentage of internships is going down by 40 to 50% right uh, people who have connections who have better network they may get good opportunities through the network only because people are go- not going to advertise openly about the opportunity organizations will be uh, not spending on advertising and marketing about these roles also so the only thing that can go in your favor is that how you brand yourself 
how you market your brand how you position your profiles on social media like linkedin glassdoor uh, there are other platforms also then how you connect with the industry leaders people who are out there working and uh, how you actually engage with your mentors mm-hmm. your supervisors they are going to help you to provide you opportunities so networking is the most important thing uh, the, at present scenario revamping your profiles uh, readjusting your resumes according to the requirement positioning yourself as a person who is a all rounder who is a holistic personality because oecd uh, report uh, says that uh, it roles people who are in it they need to be multitaskers mm-hmm. they need they need to carry multiple roles 40% of the business roles will also be taken care by the it people who are taking care of the it job roles so the engineers today if they are thinking that they are only uh, they know it infrastructure or they are software developers uh, they should start working on getting the skills of tech sales getting the skills of customer services because it's the time of uh, multitasking showcasing your strength that you can handle many roles many you can don many hats right this is the way you are going to make yourself indispensable to the market to the industry to the recruiter so try to pick up skills which actually makes you makes your resume a uh, a wholesome resume where you have the right mix of hard skills and the soft skills where you can pick up roles both in the back end and the front end also so this is what i may suggest to the students out there that right now reflect and find out what are the things they can what are the new skills they can pick up mm-hmm. and work on their resume Ma'am, could you help uh, the students understand uh, uh, a bit of resources from where they should uh, practice these skills? Because what we have experienced is that a lot of students spend a lot of time writing their resumes, revising their resumes. But when the time of the interview comes, they are very nervous. And what the resume conveys to the interviewer and what the candidate con- uh, conveys is very different. how would you suggest they should uh, tackle this situation see this is what i earlier said also that in your executive presence there are two things what you say and how you say so when i say something that i have a, a, for example say conflict management skills it's just telling you that i have these skills when i back my telling with the evidence with the story storytelling is a skill right uh, there are people who say okay storytelling is for people who are from the literature side and all no storytelling is for is the most important skill when it comes to communicating yourself marketing your brand actually so rather than just rather than just telling that i have event management skills Uh, i can tell them that uh, recently at my college fest i organized a event with uh, where the number of registrations were 500 right and with right marketing campaign you were able to take this number from 100 to 500 in two days in two in three days so when you uh, talk with evidence and when you provide data when you provide numbers right it gives credibility to what you are saying right. so it is very important that what are we saying and how we are saying and when we are saying how so there are so many nuances to it that uh, it's worth 7% and 93% is your non verbals right uh, your eye con- eye connect uh, your gestures your facial expressions how you mirror the other side mm-hmm. so these are the things which we need to learn and which we need to practice it's a time consuming and it's a painstaking effort where you need to put in some uh, and today uh, the world is more connected why don't you connect with your friends connect with your mentors connect with your faculty and you practice these things there are simple structures 
when we use them they they set us free structures will set you free rather just uh, i will take simon senex golden circle mm-hmm. why how what if you present yourself if you answer any question using this structure your communication is easy and more impactful right simple like past present future from to from point a to point z when i talk about my aspirations that being an engineer today what i want to contribute to the humanity what kind of problems i solve these are the two main things uh, for any fresh graduate to communicate to the world the problems you solve and the contribution you are going to make to the humanity this is what the world wants to listen from you so if we com- communicate properly st- learn simple structures there are so many courses available to you be it edx be it coursera there are these are free platforms there are many free courses available it's uh, linkedin learning is also a very good source that where you get to learn these skills in a very easy manner uh, there are videos available and there are audio books podcasts uh, just find a good podcast find a good role model and you will thrive definitely such simple points ma'am and such important life skills if we look at the bigger picture these are very very important life skills thank you so much for uh, sharing these with us and also uh, from your uh, personal contribution uh, towards this situation we would like to know how as a career coach you are ensuring that students have uh, good opportunities at this point of time and they can make the most of their uh, time at this moment uh for my, from our perspective uh like we are in constant touch with our students uh from day one uh, we 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 are blessed that we were equipped with all these digital technology uh, platforms that we were able to connect with our students on daily basis so the tra- uh, training is regularly on we are picking up uh, skills in executive presence through workshops on uh, online classrooms uh, we are actually discussing internship preparedness using online platforms how to take a virtual internship how to prepare yourself for video interviews uh, whether uh, it's our final year students or pre final pre graduating batch uh, we are having regular workshops regular interactions with them uh, i will uh, i'll plead to our student fraternity that they should have faith in their universities or their campuses career services right your universities are supporting you they are finding opportunities uh, in case of ups we are connecting with our uh, recruiters on regular basis we are asking them not to defer the joinings or orientations we are supporting them in providing our uh, lms platform to connect with students to have webinars to train the students before joining uh, onboarding is happening may, may hiring process is going on there are many companies they are hiring also mm-hmm. so even today online exams are going on and we are trying our level best to ensure that the final year students have their exams on time so that as they complete their degrees they'll be able to join the workforce so we are trying that there should not be any delay in their final exams also so that will be a online mode we are working on it and uh, next week we will we are going to have our exams then we are connecting with our alumni mm-hmm. so we are seeking full support for internships uh, for uh, digital uh, projects Uh, and we are getting super support from our alumni also and uh, with uh, like ups our university is committed to our students mm-hmm. and there is a promise of 5 years of continuous support career support to all our students so uh, i i i want to tell the students out there that they should not panic at all they should work on their skill sets they should uh, readjust their skill set according to the present scenario little uh the hard work and sincerity towards you will take you a long long way ahead 
so this is how just have faith just have trust i believe uh, what you are uh, doing as a career coach at the moment and what uh, ups is uh, contributing is really noteworthy and as we discussed in the beginning the solidarity that we see right now is just amazing and we all need to celebrate it is. these moments sure there there are uh, heroes without capes yes yes very true ma and um, as uh, we discussed as we have discussed in parts that uh, online presence and personal branding and networking all of these is becoming very crucial at this uh, point of time how do you see uh, the importance of uh, online platforms offering courses and career help uh, increasing during these uh, times and not just this pandemic per se but any crisis that hits us uh garima as i already discussed with you that i am a junkie for learning and uh, i always uh, like focus on learning something new right for uh, for me uh, because i am a working mother right i have household so online platforms have always been my go to place to learn because uh, it is the convenient way of learning for me uh, i i learn at my own time i learn at my own pace and i pick up courses which are like helps me and they are of my interest mm-hmm. so there are times when i am preparing some uh, plan i'm uh, some workshop for my students i'll pick up a course relevant to that workshop that skill which i'm going to train on there are times there are things which i am totally uh, are of my interest right that uh, totally to quench my curiosity so everything is available to you just you think of something and those courses with beautiful content available to you so it was not the only this pandemic time uh, but before uh, and also there are such beautiful platforms available to you which actually deliver good content and at a very economical price and uh, i'll say especially at today's time the kind of solidarity we see from all these organizations also many have opened their uh, libraries national libraries offering a uh, free access it is a digital library there are thousands and thousands of books available to the students free of cost uh, college libraries are actually providing remote access to students to various journals hbr is offering so many courses to the students free of cost right now so this is the best time to learn without spending much or without investing much those who actually wanted to pick up something and they wanted to learn but were not able to because it was maybe costly mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so this is the right time actually to pick up that skill and learn or earn that certification for yourself so i'll say just explore and uh, sky is the limit and uh, here's just a quick uh, word for our audience just adding to your uh, points here that at energy dias we have a dedicated oil and gas jobs portal where you can not only search and apply for jobs but also build a de- digital resume and you will also find a career help section on our website where uh, as ma'am mentioned that you'll be able to read inspiring and insightful articles that that are meant to help you so please explore as many options you can and as she said there are so many platforms offering free courses check out our oil and gas courses platform too and there's no limit there's no limit to learning and See? let's let's just keep on doing that and uh, ma'am there's this one very important question and i think the most important question at this point of time that how do the students deal with the mental and psychological pressure uh, at this point how do you think they should they'll be able to cope up with this change and it's not easy it's definitely not easy and what do you think how would you help them stay positive uh self compassion is the key here right uh, there are times uh, this anxiety is not from inside this is from our environment also 
so first let's identify the triggers mm-hmm. that uh, that gives you that okay i'm feeling anxious right now so find out that is it you or it is is it your environment around mm-hmm. sometimes uh, parents are also feeling tense right there's peer pressure there is a friend calling you again and again that pata nahi kya hoga this kind of uh, right so let's first identify that it is your internal uh, chatter internal tension or it is the pressure from the outside mm-hmm. so first identifying the source of anxiety is important then if it is a ex- external source we can discuss Uh, and sit down and communicate with the source that see these are the facts and figures mm-hmm. available and there are times uh, times are going to be good within a year and a half and things are going to go better for everyone and we are not alone in this scenario the situation is same for the entire world right it's not region specific it's not country specific right let alone the people specific right so there are things which are beyond our control yes so let's not react onto these things but then there is internal chatter which is happening right so one thing first let let us not verbalize our internal chatter outside let us not give it outside to the universe keep it inside and then try to tame first there is a trigger mm-hmm. and there you have to tame it so the uh, trigger is if if you listen to the language of your trigger that i am scared that what will happen i will get a job or not so what should be the tamer here the tamer should be i am challenged with today's time that how i can upgrade my skill set that i am fit for the jobs present in the present scenario it is just the tweaking of vocabulary your words that can give you a different perspective first accepting that there is fear mm-hmm. when once, once we accept that emotion right emotions are just feelings in motion once you just accept they stop in the track once they are stopped you have to change their language language creates our reality so just changing your vocabulary use of the right words right rather than up talk uh, think of statements which are affirmative uh, i am enough i'll do good so having a, that abundant mindset that is going to help you to be calm right because bhagavad gita says that happiness comes from being true to your nature so finding a job true to your nature first you need to know your nature so are you are you aware of your true nature so this is the time let's reflect on our true nature because universe or nature they just want us to be happy that is the true nature of a soul or a human being actually and when we come to this universe all this inner and outer chatter uh, makes us forget all these things so let's let's focus on our true nature uh, try to reframe uh, rephrase the uh, language of uh, the thoughts you are having and just by accepting these thoughts and changing their language is going to help you calm your nerves a lot and then there are few simple things that please maintain a routine mm-hmm. i see young yeah, people they are taking it as a, a holiday or maybe they are at homes and good food is available to you them so it it's about getting up late uh, binging uh, these free live streamings available to them these days and uh, then please have a routine Uh, get up at the regular time have some exercise because we are glued to the seats ensure that you get up from your seat every 30 minutes have some exercise eat healthy this is very important to maintain focus if right now you are learning and you are focusing on your exams also which are coming this month whether they are online or we are waiting for that eating healthy and having healthy thoughts 
food should not only be the body food should be for your mind also right so for your heart also so aligning your head your heart and your hands i is going to be really 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 helpful in managing the stress in these times very very true ma'am uh, i think you have beautifully painted uh, the picture how we should all look for the bright spots and i'm sure the students will follow your suggestions and uh, i can see some questions coming up for you uh, okay so yes one is how relevant do you think resumes will be in coming time uh as uh, job roles are updating resumes need to be updated right so once i was uh, telling you that let's get uh, used to facing cameras mm -hmm. so video resume is also going to be a great help to you that rather than having a paper resume right or a, a hard copy of your resume uh just having a one minute video of yours mm -hmm. right uh, where you just talk about your aspirations your strengths the contributions the value addition you can make to the world uh, and answering the question that why should we hire you in one minute mm -hmm. you can just chunk it out in 5 to 10 seconds of introduction 10 seconds of talking about aspirations 10 seconds of talking about your strengths 10 seconds about your skills your knowledge and the projects you are uh, working on these days and then having a consistent theme in answering the question why should we hire you so just having uh, so because technology is at your hand mm -hmm. using your own phone a selfie camera you can record yourself also so and before giving a final resume out you can practice you can edit there are so many softwares and platforms available which helps you to do these things free of cost mm -hmm. so you don't have to pay anything for these things just experiment and showcase your creativity show tell the world that you are adaptable and you are agile and you are a quick learner and you change with you are changing with the changing times right so as uh, this covid 19 has come as as a evolutionary accelerator for us so tell them that we can manage uh, the disruption and we can uh, increase our speed if there is acceleration we will move at the faster pace right right so what we are looking at is a very creative and a flexible approach and yeah. uh, that that is going to make a lot of uh, difference in these particular uh, times also there's uh, another question which you have answered to some extent but the second part of the question is uh, very interesting so mm -hmm. it it is about uh, how can we work on our skills and know what the organizations are looking for okay so what organizations are looking for are clearly communicated uh you have to do a thorough research a company research uh, about the organization where you are applying uh, what are the sources of researching about these companies about the companies each and every organization have their own website which gives you a lot of information about them that be it their mission statement be it their vision statement what are the various projects they are having collaborations any mous coming up or uh, the technological collaborators partners there uh what are the various locations these companies are working right then there are news and media whether social media or print media uh their quarterly reports annual reports talk about their financial health so and uh, then uh, there is another source that is internal references if you have any person connected uh someone friends of friends or friends of alumni or alumni there in that organization they can help you to understand the internal environment of the organization then we have so many social platforms like linkedin glassdoor uh, you can ask quora questions on quora also but i'll say not to uh, rely much on that information but look for the authentic sources of the information look uh, for those keywords in the job description mm -hmm. that what are they looking at and then trying to give back or use the similar keywords in your own pitch 
in your own resume and showcasing if if the job demands for a problem solver tell them that you are a problem solver if the job description asks for a person who can handle data have a good analytical ability to manage data and find out information from that data talk about your uh, courses you have taken in in your degree that which involves a lot of data handling where analytics was involved talk about the your projects where you have handled a good amount of data and you were able to present that data with good results and you present them well so when you actually showcase your skills to the other side whether on paper whether uh, face to face or using video platforms uh, it's about again i'll come back to what you say and how you say it so what you say is your research you have to work hard sincerely and research uh, dive deep to find out what the other side wants because it's always about the audience it's never about you yeah. that's very true ma'am and i'm sure uh, these pointers will help our uh, students and uh, coming to my last question now that uh, what is your uh, message to the student community uh my only message to them is uh that enjoy the detours in your journey uh no matter uh, our goals have shifted a little bit but it's not about the destination it's about the journey enjoy the journey there is beautiful scenery pick up new things on, on your journey way i i'll uh, give you an, an analogy of a river and a flood see a river uh, is moving uh, in one direction focused in one direction it has its bounds it has its banks but it runs deep uh, it has its own music on the other hand floods they they have no boundaries the water is dark muddy and they are destructive focus your energies in one direction and keep flowing destination is there waiting for you so let's not uh, leave hope staying positive with realis- realism knowing the facts and figures what is happening around you picking up the cues from your environment and start keep preparing yourself do not let go of your search the search inwards and search outwards should be a continuous process and you will definitely find success my wishes all the good wishes with you that's a beautiful message ma'am and i think not just for the students community but for the global community uh, because what we have before us is definitely a shared challenge and we all are in the same boat and what you said yeah, we are and what you said just now gives us all so much hope that we are there for each other and we will get through this so definitely yes thank you so much ma'am for talking to us today thank you so much for your valuable insights and opinions and views and i'm sure the students will uh, love these points that you made today and there's a lot uh, we look forward to and we would definitely like to connect with you again uh, to discuss more about this issue and how we can emerge stronger and better through this crisis Sure Garima I am grateful that you gave me this opportunity to connect with the youth out there and to give my message to them so my heartfelt gratitude thank you so thank you very much thank you so thank you take care